<laughs> I got it to work. <laughs> I am victorious. <laughs> it only took me way too long to figure it out. I'm so sorry for that. So sorry for my boring stream beginning. All right, let's get uh, this taken away. Now that everything is working. Wouldn't it be the first stream of the year if it wasn't completely scuffed at the beginning, I guess. So, I am officially back in action. We've been away for two months now, which is forever in our internet years. But uh, we're ready to get back and uh, we're going to show you what we've been up to uh, through some nice art. So let's jump on over to that screen. Okay, so we are back in action. I've got some stuff thumbnailed. Let's go ahead and I'm going to start some background music. Turn that down. On both our ends. Okay, I think we've got a nice balance going now. Uh, I've made some quick scribbles. I'll go through and detail what everything is uh, as we go on. So I'm going to just create a layer above everything. Let's get a basic black color and just kind of make a border. I think I'll do it with my calligraphy brush. Let's uh, see how thick I want. That may be a little thicker than I want that line to be. Yeah, that could be it. Okay. So I'm gonna turn on the drawing assist so my lines are nice and straight. I'm also going to lower the opacity of my scribble layer by a lot. So that way it's not in the way of my gill brain processing all the things happening. So, uh, it's higher than I wanted. Okay. We'll just go ahead and get the outside edges first. I've never drawn such straight lines in ever. Thank goodness for drawing is this, because I can't draw a safe uh, straight line to save my life. Or anyone else's life. If saving the world depended on me uh, drawing a straight line, you, you'd all be doomed. Erased a little too much there. Let me go back. I need to turn off drawing assist for the diagonals because they don't do diagonal and drawing assist. But we can still get a straight line. Got the perfect angle with the touch shortcut. Okay, and that'll be our boxes. I'll just make a layer underneath it. Grab my beautiful yellow color. And we'll start with telling everyone the story about what's happening. I think I need to turn my mic down a bit. Kind of getting peakish there. Okay. So we travel to a different country to visit Ham's family. Um, we spent 
their winter holiday celebration there. I uh, did a bunch of stuff, uh, came back to our country of residency, and uh, had to take some time to recover. And we'll let you know why in a second. So first panel is um, the plane ride over to the uh, the other country. And a uh, fun fact about humans that I did not uh, fully comprehend. Uh, they can get sick on airplanes. <laughs> And Ham is a human that gets sick a lot on airplanes. So it wasn't the best experience for her, sadly. Uh, so let's go ahead and just draw this little corner scene. That's uh, not the brush I want to use. I want to use my stable sketcher. This is going to be me in the plane seat. And... Uh, let's get... Color for these seats. Hey, Cryptic! Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the lurk. Uh... Let me give you a shout out for our, our future people coming in uh, so that they can check you out if they want. This is our friend uh, Cryptic Mimic. They do a bunch of cool gaming stuff and blender modeling over on their stream, so I would check them out. It's the Phasmophobia clip. There's supposed to be audio in this, isn't there? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, 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 not staying, not staying. Fuck it, I don't care. I'm figuring it out in the book car. Well, really noped out of there. <laughs> well. Uh, that was our friend Cryptic Mimic playing Phasmophobia and choosing the smart route in the horror movie and leaving at the first sign of trouble. So a way to go on surviving. You'll go far. Okay. Uh, there's this thing about airplane seats where it's always the corporate gray color of whatever their airline main color is. It's like their color, but with the soul sucked out of it. So I'm trying to achieve that. I think this is... I think this would be right. Let me hide my little gilly form here. Get a seat. We'll just do a nice generic airplane seat. Whoops, I did not close in those lines at all. I was really not thinking. Got my color filled too high. Oop, here we go. Okie dokie, I need to fix the perspective on this seat a little. Trying to get it closer, the closer it is to the viewing angle. Slanting away. Uh, let me come down here and erase this. Let me make sure, yeah. I need to make sure I'm on an actual eraser. I'll do my wild eraser. Nice and quick erasing power. Uh, I also need to change the angle of this seat. It's fun fact, airplane seats don't recline like that unless you're C 
super wealthy, but him is it. All the fees she has to pay to the United Space Initiative kind of makes it hard to enjoy luxurious things. And she has told me that she would have not been able to afford it before the USI's interference either. Apparently it's a heavily uh, paywalled experience. Okay, we'll get the undersea here. But I think that's a little too dark. And also... I made the C too long, so let's try to fix that. I think there's better. Move this to be in line with it. I'm gonna go ahead and group these. And the seat belt, safety belt is kind of an even worse version of corporate gray. We'll get that on uh, once I'm in there. We'll leave that off for now. Uh, let's go ahead and just get the details on the seat. Holding that so it's this straight line in the back there. We have this weird pillow that really doesn't help. It has no cushion capabilities. Do that line. Not satisfied with it. Whoop. They've kind of got this pattern on it that gives it the illusion of padding, but it's cardboard. It's expensive cardboard. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get the armrest. Also a version of Soulless Corporate Grey. going with that, but we can work with that. I don't know why I didn't just fill this in. I'm putting it in manually like a dunder, but oh well. Hey, I need to move that behind all the seating stuff. Trying to move it. be like there. And then I just need to make it a little longer. Yeah, 
stuff out there. And then we'll get our line work in. even took there's this medicine that humans can take that stops motion sickness it didn't help okay and i'm gonna turn this down i don't think i wanted that dark okay we got our first seat uh let me just make sure the handles are in the seat group. And we'll just duplicate it and move one of these over. And fix the perspective issues and stuff. And, uh,. Airplane seats are always uncomfortably close to one another. I think about there's right. Okay. Just let me grab the color. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna turn up this a little bit. Seat in here. Get this filled in. I think I need to turn down the size of my brush. For this edge, just so that the grains are a little more uniform. We'll come down here to the bottom of the seat. Looks like I've got something I need to go back and erase on that other layer. Let's come in here real quick. There we go. I need to adjust what's happening here. Whoops, I'm on an eraser. And I need to come back to this color. Here we go. Okay, then we'll come back here, adjust the thickness of the cushion. Need to come here and add a couple things. Okay. I'll block out the colors and stuff. And I have the wrong color selected. Per usual. Wrong brush size too. Okay. I hope everyone's year ended peacefully and great and you had wonderful holidays. Whatever you celebrate, with whomever you celebrate it with. There were a lot of human holidays that happened. 
in both countries. Um, a lot of holidays all around the world. Okay, I think that'll be good. Let's just do some kind of dingy gray backdrop. Oop. You know what? That's that's smart because I didn't I didn't make a shape for this backdrop. Okay. I'll just get the shape in here real quick to help block in this color we're fixing to do. Clean up the edges. Looks like I got another thing I gotta go back and erase. Okay. I need to adjust this color because it's blending in with the seat. Maybe let's warm up the color a bit. Existence. Okay. Look, okay, now I get to adjust my little bean to fit the seat. I'm not that big, I promise. No, not the sort. Okay. Fix the edges here. Go. Get the details in here. Oh, hey, Jixoy. I'm sorry I didn't see you. I need to bring my jack closer. How's it going? I don't know how long you've been there. I'm sorry if I missed you. That was super late to the party. Gonna give you a shout out for our future people. Our friend Jigsaw is a great artist, a great gamer, all around great person. Please go check them out. Let's see which one we get. Oh, it's the Super Saiyan. Yeah, give me those healing purple bullets. I'm sorry, healing bullets? Get him! All right, you're nothing. I'm not familiar with that game. What's the name of that, uh, that game you were playing? Uh, that's just so for people who are not in the know, that is the stream where Jexoy goes Super Saiyan. Definitely would check it out. If you can find it out and about. Uh, Toho Luna Nights. Thank you. It looks like, um, like it'd be a pretty difficult game. I have it archived, actually. Nice. OK, you guys need to go check it out. Very important stream to me. Yes, I understand why. Um, very, very powerful. I remember now. Uh, what that was okay uh well thank you for coming in thank you for stopping by and seeing me today let me get my music going again and we'll get back to uh the bubbles very important part of globian anatomy is the bubbles just get those in here
I need to switch to my <coughs> rough brush. I listened to your new album? Well, thanks. That's way too big. Thank you for listening into it. Uh, I would be interested in hearing your thoughts because uh, I have gotten mixed reception to it. Uh, everyone seems to like the, the theme for me, but I've had someone tell me that Ham's theme and the one that was too serious for either of us uh, was very annoying to their ears. So, uh, if, and they're like, but I don't know why. So they, they couldn't help me improve. So if you've got any notes, I'll take them. I love all your music. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, lower these down. Those need to be a little higher, though, because we'll have another layer. No, not assisted. Clipping mask, please. Thank you. All right, and get the nice little mid shade. You blur it. Not, not that blurred. Too blurred. Okay, this one needs to be around here. Get my speckle brushes. Uh, how was your vacation, by the way? Mixed. Um, I need to turn this down. Uh, so. That's kind of what we're drawing today, as actually, is the saga of the vacation. And it starts out, as most trips with Ham does, um, with Ham getting motion sickness on an airplane. Ham is a human that gets motion sickness very, very easily. Ooh, those dots are going to be big in that picture. Let's try to figure something else out. I think this should be a little more up to par. Too, too many. Too populated with speckles. Um, so we did a lot of great stuff. We celebrated their winter festivities with them. The Western New Year. And uh, we got to go see some really great uh, stuff. International Park. And uh, then it ended with a plane ride back to our local country where Ham and her uh, life partner also got horribly motion sick together. So at least they uh, were in it together. At least they weren't alone. You know that this one's gonna be such a small thing. I don't think I need to put my my call my uh, bacteria colonies in. Mutual illness. Yes, nothing better than being sick than being sick with someone you love. I guess. Except for not being sick, that would be better. Okay. Uh, let's get the next layer. Come back in here, get some eye spots going. Uh, if I was sick, having my brother with me would make things less awful. It's gotta be, um... It's a very human thing to have a shared bond over bad experiences. 
but also just being with someone you're close with, uh, I understand is very cathartic. So I didn't fly with my communicator on, uh, because human air security does not like metal objects of unidentifiable origins, and I guess I can understand that. Um, so we had to put it on boarding, uh, to check bags. Just gonna make sure that I'm on a different layer. You know, that's too, that's, that's a gray that has too much life in it. We need to suck more life out of that gray for it to be on an airplane. Safety belt strap there. And since I'm quite squishy, we had to tighten the seat belt a lot. I'll get in there and I'll. moment I thought you had a booster seat. <laughs> I mean it'd be very hard to get a booster seat on an airplane through airport security. I saw human children that were literally just strapped to their mom's chest. Uh, so humanity really does not care for us. Us people of small stature I should say. Blackish clip system. I'm not gonna bother putting in too much detail. It's a seatbelt, you understand. I'm just going to get this. And now we get to put Ham's unfortunate circumstance in here. About mm, here. sick a lot during the break so not just um air sickness but while we were in the uh the other country uh him and her family unit uh contracted the thing that shall not be said on channels. Here first, interesting. Yeah, well, there's a reason. You're not going to be seeing a lot of the face. Okay, I need another soulless corporate gray. Um, kind of whitish gray. You know, 
they're actually darker than that. They're... They're like this. I'm face first, if you haven't noticed. I don't have a method, so... Uh... Some people have methods where they're like, starting with the nose. Like, sometimes the brows, like Julia Le Petit from Drawfee, starts with like the facial features first before doing the full piece sometimes. So I need to switch this to my stable, stable eraser. I just kind of start with the things that are going to be the most seen. I guess. That way I'm not wasting time on things that aren't going to be seen. I like expressions, so I focus on faces at first. That is, uh, that is a good method for expressionism. Choose skin color. It really hasn't been that long, has it? I just realized we're on a different album. It has been. It has been like almost an hour. Wow. Okay. Something that made Ham's trip really difficult was, uh, at least in the first time, she had like a million layers of clothing on. Um, she had a sweater vest outfit. Um, with a, um, a sweater over that, and then a big puffy jacket. Nope, I didn't close those lines off somewhere. So it was a lot of layers. One jacket. You know, I'm just gonna fill this in. I'm gonna have to put in the the details to it later. Me too. I'm gonna redo this now. Bye. We need to get more of a distressed state of being here. We did it again. I need to move my microphone. I keep hitting it. Here we go. So it was a big puffy winter jacket on top of sweater on top of sweater vest. Not the best decision for uh, traveling in a confined space. But the country we start out in was kind of warm. It was pleasant enough. And where we were going to to visit Ham's family was very cold. So she wanted to be prepared for when we arrived. I'm going to go ahead and group these so I can move them around easier. do one above for the jacket arm. Come here. Here we go. And I'm going to turn down this layer so I can see what I'm drawing easier.
There we go. I need to not try to make this so perfect. It's going to be, it's literally the corner of a panel. No one's going to pay that much attention to it. Um. Let's go ahead and get some details. Oops, I forgot that's on a different layer. I remember when Freud clip popped up in Maestro stream and it had this music and we all collectively went, Olo! Really? Wait, wait! <laughs> uh, they were using my music? I'm so touched. They never do that. I also, like, it still blows my mind that people missed me. Like, that was a big thing. I was gonna be like, oh, no one's gonna even know. Notice I'm gone. Freud was using your music. <gasps> I didn't know. That's amazing. I didn't... <laughs> You're like the only person that um, actively tells me that they listen to my music. Uh, you and Spilly. Uh, so it just that blows my mind. Um, we all missed you. I see that just that just warms me up. Somehow. I I have hangups, so. <laughs> My original host family was not the best host family, um, and I still got some social trauma from it, I guess. But uh, thank you, for, thank you for the pets. Thank you. Uh, I I still walk around with this this idea in my head that everyone's just being nice to me and they don't really like to me, or they don't really like me. Uh, because I'm weird, and awkward, and annoying. We're a little streamer family too. We are! <laughs> now, you're uh, my friend. You're my friend too. I never doubted you. Um, you've always been really, really kind to me. But I... I always worry in the back of my head. They're like, I'm like, oh god, I'm so cringy. They they don't like me. I said something annoying again. Why'd you do that? Why can't you be normal? That made me really happy to... That people were telling me that they missed me. Let's uh, undo that real quick. There we go. Yeah, I got really lucky. I lucked into a great streaming community. You're talking to the guy who played a video of chickens turning into crocodiles on screen. I think I'm the weird one here. No! No. <laughs> You are amazing. I don't... I don't really know what makes someone normal, but I just got told one too many times. That I wasn't, that I was weird. So I just internalized it. But that's the thing, I it's weird. Feelings are weird like that because Embrace the weird, yes. That reminds me of the the weird man from Uncle Grandpa. Let's get weird. But uh Yeah, for some reason the, the bad things stick harder than the than all the good stuff people say. I have a problem accepting compliments too. 
<laughs> so it's like, um, here's the one bad thing that happened that will stick with me forever. And all the people giving me compliments are just being nice to me. That's the... The fallacy of my mind, I guess you can say. We'll just do very simple. Simple, cheapy stuff. Uh, we're being nice to you, but we mean it. So thank you. That makes me unbelievably happy. Yeah... There was a really... toxic situation... happening in the past where... Um... The place I used to... Uh, research at... I was told, point blank, um, to my face, someone's like, I don't like you. And I was like, well, you're allowed that. <laughs> and so, um, but then they did some really horrible stuff behind the scenes. So it wasn't just like a mutual, hey, I don't like you. It was like, okay, that's fine. We don't have to, we don't have to interact. It was, Hey, I don't like you, and I'm going to actively turn everyone else against you. Kind of mentality. Which is a horrible mentality. Humans are weird like that. I don't like you, therefore I'm going to make sure nobody likes you. gonna group these flip it over uh, that's awful yeah but I gotta learn to separate so there were the like two actors in that situation an instigator and their friend that helped proliferate um, the problem helped uh, exacerbate it I guess helped her spread it uh, I just ignore my mortal enemies forever. See, that would be great, right? Don't let them live rent free in your head or whatever. But I am constantly obsessing over every little thing I've done wrong. That's gonna be... Uh, that was worth that's going to be my struggle. Learning to ignore the haters. We'll help you grow along the way. Thank you. Confidence takes time. It takes so long. So freaking long. Um, is this on? Nope, I did not switch it to a multiply. Multiply, please. Thank you. Let's, let's get in. The worst kind of approximation of what an airplane looks like is possible. Looks like a fish. And then just scribbly words, I guess. Fishy plane. Flying fish way up in the sky. How do you intend to come down? You suicidal bastard. That sounds like it could be. It belongs to one of those pre pretentious, um, poetry books. That could definitely be a line in one of them. Uh, let's make the pants a little darker. I do that a lot. I mean, I mean to press the undo 
and I just create lots of little dots on the canvas next to the undo button. Finally, poetry, a writing style that completely goes over my head. Well, that's the thing. I There's supposed to be all these rules, but like all the best poetry books, everyone's like, oh, they're so groundbreaking. And I don't understand that part of humanity where it's like, we have rules you have to follow for it to be a thing. But the moment you don't do the thing, we're going to praise, praise you for it. Very strange. Very baggy, wrinkly travel pants. The best kind to travel in. I feel like if you can't get your message across properly, then it kind of defeats the purpose of the medium. Yeah, I don't like um, writing that's intentionally complex for complexity's sake. Um, then it's just like an ego trip, right? Because who are you writing this for, realistically, if the words are nine letters long in every sentence? Uh, aside from, uh, crypt uh crypto oh, cryptic <laughs> uh, purposes, like if you're generating a mystery, that is perfectly fine. Yeah, but then that's using that is using the medium in the proper fashion then because uh, you're using it with the intent of it being mysterious I guess like the law um, intent matters <laughs> Intent is nine tenths of the, the writing community. I think I'm going to zoom in on this, so I don't know why I'm doing, putting so much effort into these shoes. It's just there's a lot of dead space there. I did not have everything that I wanted selected. Really? You gonna be like that? Okay. Oh, I had a group within a group. Okay. That's fine. Groupception. Can't wait until you become affiliated one day. The Olo brand emotes will be amazing. Uh, <laughs> so I have them in our Discord and they're not, they're just static. Um, I don't have the, the talent yet to, um, or the program yet to use the animated emote. You, wait, you have a Discord? Yeah, we have a Discord! You can find it in our About tab over on Twitch, uh, if you're watching us here. Um, live, we do we do have a link to it in, the, in our About tab. Um, and uh, because of you, Gypsoy, if you join, you also will get a uh, streaming friends role. How long was I unaware of this lore? Um... November long? However long November was. Yeah. Um. Something went wrong along the way. Here we go. Uh. 
I haven't been active on it um, since the break, but we're going to be getting back into it um, today, actually. So <laughs> you, you didn't miss out on much. You missed out on the heartache of the creation, but that's about it. Uh, I want everything except the background square. Okay. Let's, uh, try to think about what I'm doing with my life. Okay, there we go. Need to make that bigger. Erase that. Erase some of this back. I'll just pop the rest of it above it. So uh, let's come over here real quick. We'll just go ahead and add. We'll add a little title to all these so people in the future know what's going on. Uh, let's do coding black. Oh, the link is being weird? Okay, I will, um, I will see if I can fix that later, and I will personally message you, um, the information. DM me the link, yeah, yeah. I'll get you to it, I'll get everything fixed. I need to also fix my opening video. For some reason, my little opening video is not working on OBS. Okay, um... So we'll say like 0.5. Yeah. Um. Air trap. Okay. Uh. So something really fun we got to do. Um. While we were. Uh visiting Ham's family was they saw this game on TikTok where uh, there's little prizes and stuff underneath solo cups, the plastic cups in America um, and other places. Um, so we got to uh, play that game where we got to take turns lifting the cups, finding little prizes in them. So that's uh, the next image. Let me decide what kind of color. Uh, I think I like that salmon may be a nice color for this. A nice uh, juxtaposition to the soulless corporate gray of an airline me increase my line. I just realized these songs are out of order. I wonder if I have a uh... If the playlist is messed up, or if I have shuffling turned on. Because this is a song in Sweet Home Boone, and the other stuff we've been listening to is music from the Streamy Dreams release. Nice color. Uh, let's get like a table color, I guess. A wood table color. I'll just go ahead and clip it in here. I think I'm gonna 
to do this piece very flat. I'm not going to do shading on a lot of these. Just so I can get it out in a timely manner. I forget since that's clipping. Um, yeah, I guess everything can be clipping to the background. Why not? No, I know why not. Never mind. I'll just have to erase. Maybe get rid of those outlines as much as possible. Need to turn up the eraser again. There we go. How long do you plan on streaming, by the way? Uh, just uh, for another 50 minutes or so. Uh, so... <laughs> we'll, we'll only be here another 50 minutes. Um, we do two-hour streams. Um, just so that they're a manageable watch size, um, when they're over on the YouTube channel. Nice! Still a lot of time. Yep! We're plenty enough to, uh, I was gonna say plenty enough to get under people's skin, but I need to stop belittling myself like that. resolution. Meanwhile, I'm like, okay, four hour stream, keep accidentally <laughs> happening. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, sometimes whenever you do things at such a high level, like your amazing maestro animation, you just gotta do a four hour stream. By the way, I couldn't talk to you during that process for a long time, but that was... An amazing bit of animation you were working on. I'm going to try to learn animation this year. It's going to be in Blender with Blender Grease Pencil, so we'll see how that works. I was experimenting the whole time. Yeah, and you were hitting it out of the park every, every, uh, which way? But that, the angel wing joke, <laughs> that got me. Um, one of the commenters had said, it looks like uh, angel wings are fixing to come out of his back because he was doing like anime girl, hands on the heart kind of pose. Magical girl transformation pose. Uh, the shade now. to make sure I fill in these places or that it's gonna look weird whenever I blur it. Whoosh. I can't believe I finished that barely under two hours. It was so quick. Like it blew my mind how quickly and how dynamic, how many dynamic movements there were within that time frame too. It was a lot. You did a lot in that two hours. You really made that two hours work. It was pickles. And uh, this one may be big enough to warrant a colony. Um, hmm. Oh, I know what's going on. I've got the shade turned up too high. Yeah, you can't really tell they're there. That's fine. I'll leave them. I'll, I'll let them be for now. I just need some eye spots. Oh, and I'm still on the colony brush. Uh.
<laughs> nice little gilly eye spot. Put some uh, above layer going. Now I need some buns. I know it's strange, but I wasn't able to draw my hair buns from, like, memory very easily in the beginning. But I've gotten used to the shape now, that's for sure. We're gonna do it the lazy method. We're just gonna do one bun and shrink everything down to size for the second bun. Memory buns. This little bigger. Yeah, you know, I don't listen to my own music often enough. I forget that. I really like some of my own songs. I don't like them in the moment because after listening to it over and over and over again for like days or hours however long it takes me sometimes weeks um <laughs> you kind of get bored with them you're like oh my goodness it's just the frequency that you have to listen to them is what makes it not enjoyable at first, but coming back and listening to them, I can appreciate them better. Uh, you should, because they're super good. Oh, thank you. Some of them I really want to redo. Oh, it it's so hard. I am a destructive artist, and I always want to replace things. What? Oh, my layer limit. Okay, that's fine. We'll just merge down this panel. I have a blank one there for like no reason. Okay. Make sure I didn't do anything weird. Nope, it's pretty normal. Okay. Sometimes Clip Studio gets weird with merging um, multiply layers and uh, additive layers. You gotta keep an eye on it. It's the... It'll ruin your piece if you're not careful. Get the colony in there. Get the upper layer. I need to increase these a little more. Okay, and then we'll just do a group, duplicate, and shrink. Because I feel like being that lazy today. And then we'll get our communicator color. So, um, we had a costume contest, um, costume design contest for reaching our 50 Twitter follower goal. And the winner of that was, uh, P. Lenoro, from a streamer from here on Twitch. You can also find her on Twitter. Uh, really friendly face. And, uh, I forgot where I was going with that thought. Uh, so they won it, and we're going to be doing a rainbow glitter gown. Uh, I misunderstood what she had uh, meant by her original comment, but we got it sorted out. And so we will be having uh, a new costume in the in the lineup. And 
And before I forget, there's a couple of important features that I forget to draw on myself all the time. You know, some pretty prominent, important identifying markers that just skip my mind from time to time. <laughs> so we gotta make sure we get those in. My paper eyebrows. The Olo brand Olo brows TM. Yes. <laughs> My trademark cardboard paper, uh, coloring paper eyebrows. Um. <laughs> My color in. And then need my soft brush. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and group all these. excited about that um that costume coming up because part of the features is um she asked that we install some rgb lighting into our uh our communicator i can't believe olo caught red fever <laughs> it's a it's a projection from my communicator so that humans kind of understand what i'm what I'm thinking. Uh, I noticed that. Yes. So we will be installing uh, RGB. It's a really nice detail. <laughs> um, we will be um, installing RGB into the headband, and I remembered where I was going with that story. Um, Hila Noro, lovely individual. Uh, Noro Snail. Um, uh, called my communicator a scrunchie, and I love that. I don't know why. So, I thought that was just the neatest thing. I need stable. We need the most obnoxious color red. Because that's the color these cups come in. And then they've got a white rim. And for some reason, just so many folds in the plastic. They're not as dramatic. For a moment, I thought you got stabbed. <laughs> that was your blood. Uh, Galobias don't really have uh, blood, not like peoples on Earth. But um, that that would have been a startling thought. Yeah, I got stabbed on vacation. No, thankfully no. I'm gonna fix this shape a little. And then I'm just going to copy this cup. Embrace your laziness. It'll be your ally. Knowing the Olo lore, seeing blood on you is even more concerning, knowing you can't bleed. Yeah! Because <laughs> now, now it goes from, oh my god, you're bleeding, to Olo. Olo, whose blood is that? I'll never tell. You'll never know. Nah. Yeah, no, no. What's a what's a good handy wrapper color? Uh. 
it was winter holiday time, so it was probably a red color. Got a lot of chocolate under my cups for some reason. There were other prizes like money, little fidget toys and stuff. But I got so much chocolate and I can't even eat it. So Ham got to eat my chocolate. Did I? Accidentally went too far back. Yeah, it's one of those fancy round chocolates that they sell during Christmas time. things we got to do during their winter celebrations. Of course, a lot of human celebrations involve so much food, so there was just a lot of food. And even though I couldn't partake, it was a nice thought that I was able to be there for that celebration. make it a little bigger. It was a little more important than the air travel. Let's shrink it down so it's not past that line there. And then <laughs> um, so uh, Pam's maternal figure works in uh, a facility uh, helping people with their mental health um, and uh, with that, um, there's a lot of people that work alongside, um, alongside each other and share lots of rooms together, um, rotate out who's in the room doing what, and as a result, um, one of the people, one of the co-workers, uh, can easily spread infectious diseases. So the thing that cannot be named online, uh, the very big thing from 2020, uh, made its rounds through the office and eventually made its way into the, uh, the household of Ham's family. And so literally two days after Christmas, everyone was sick in bed. Luckily, everyone made it out relatively healthy um, at the end of it. No long-lasting effects, thank goodness. So, very grateful for that. Um, but it was a lot of laying around in the dark. Ham's main symptom was headache. Just a huge headache. All the time. And an absurdly runny nose. A nose so runny that the healthcare professional they saw even commented on it and said, you know, everyone says they have a runny nose as a symptom, but this, this is a runny nose. So, very mucousy membrane. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move my scribble layer up so I can remember my train of thought in some of these places. I need to get more in the orange range. we could get this nice, really dark brown.
that nose was in track. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, there were a lot of tissues wasted. We'll just say that. So many tissues. Get the little side table here. There was a matching headboard. And then it doesn't really matter there. That matters. Thank you. Clipping mask for these. Okay, and then it was like nearly black accent. Oh my goodness, I am way crooked, aren't I? I have that problem where I tilt things on the side because there was this old piece of advice um, one of my art teachers here on Earth taught me where it's easier to draw a line downward. So rotating your canvas into a place where you can move your line downward with very little effort was a good idea. But because of that, I make things so crooked sometimes without even realizing it. Okay, I'm gonna... Rip! Whoops! Okay, that's not gonna work either. Uh, you. I choose you! Yeah, it helps making straight lines by bringing it toward you. Yes. But my problem was, or is, I should say, that when I rotate my canvas, I don't do it at a perfect 90 degrees. So the canvas usually is at an angle, which um, is why everything I draw is on a wonk. And need take the creamy white. Animation program doesn't let me rotate the canvas, uh, I think, and I have to just find a way to make it work. Yeah, there's a lot of programs that uh, don't have features that some others do, so you always have to figure out what you can do with your program. Like, for example, people have been asking for years for uh, Procreate to implement this feature that's in Clip Studio and Krita, where um, you can just select a general area you want to fill in and it understands based on the lines there without the lines having to be on the same layer um, and for coloring purposes, because it, it's so much quicker that way. Uh, but the developers of Procreate were like, no, nah, that's not, that's not something we're planning on doing. Sorry. So we just kind of have to make it work with what we do, uh, with what we can do.
And the pillowcase is kind of like this color. Thank you. Okay, and let's get some general ham shapes down here. hard for Ham going back to her family house was uh, the fact that her best friend uh, uh, was not there um, anymore. Her beloved dog and pet of 15 years had uh been left behind uh, because they rightfully assumed that the travel would be too hard on his old man body. And uh, he passed away from cancer because the human uh, human government has problems with dangerous chemicals seeping into waterways in a lot of places. You know, not salty at all, just kind of salty. Just this a little bit. So that's always hard going back. Like when you're mourning someone going back to their places for the first time. That they used to be and doing the things you used to do together. Gonna have to take off for now. Got a meeting. And I want to take a nap before then. Do it! Nap so good. Get some rest. Thank you for coming by as always. And I hope your meeting goes incredibly well. We'll see you later. Okay, I think I can turn off my scribble now. For now. I need to get color of Ham's news. Take a second to moisten myself. I need I need some hydration. Give me a second, guys. Go ahead and do a stretch too. We'll do both. Nice and moistened. Nice and stretched. Um, back to the camp.
gonna need to adjust those colors. And by that I mean the shape. Lower this eraser a bit. Just kind of get a better alignment of things going on here. Try to replicate that shape on this side. And I could also come in here and just draw things a little better. Okay, and then we can get the hair shape in here. set to make it look like it's sitting on the pillow a little. I'm gonna clean up this edge area too on the other side. to fix the blanket a little so that it's in line with where it's going underneath Cam's arms. How much time do I got left? Okay, I've got 15 minutes. Good, good, good. already clipping mask. Okay, uh, multiply. Kind of where she's grabbing the blanket. tissue box. So many used little tissue boxes. Darken that up a little bit for a little bit of detail. That way it kind of looks more like a tissue. Same here. I'll just put an edge to the box there. And then I'll kind of come in and uh, you need to lower that. 
just kind of get the perspective better on it. Really? There we go. And a lamp. That looks like a tree. With a bird. Details in here. the prior stuff. Okay, I've got 12 minutes. Uh, I could probably get me in here real fast. Me watching my human be sick. Just helpless, unable to do anything about it. Get me under. I need to pull out. I guess I'm in the group. Down. Come on. There we go. Um, I see many problems. Okay, I'm just gonna have to race. Very good. I need to erase a little more. Okay, that's better. Let's turn this size up. Colors, a little the little bubbles in. Bring that down. Too close to the edge there. Yeah. 
see them. I'll get the pickles in. I think I will leave everything else for next week. I think we'll just do this for a couple weeks. Or until we get it done. Oops, did not mean to get in there. Get this feature again. time uh, I'll make the time you know what no I merged it down never mind just like I could steal the bun from the last piece but I can't I merged it Merged it. It did it. This normal. Thank you. It's like, what's happening here? Not what I want. That's what's not happening there. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. I'll just do a couple on this one. Hey, it's the ending song. Get in a quick shade. I don't think I'll put the speckles. This one. Just because of time. I'm gonna group these. Duplicate. Shrinkus. This goes behind. Oops. No matter where I'm sitting, I'm going to be hitting the microphone. I will make it happen, I swear. Okay. Wide. We'll move those into a better position. Okay. 
Okay, then let's get the message in here really quick. Let's see, what should I title this one? I don't want to rasterize it. Just let me, let me type. Let's see. Those people who know will know. Okay, and that's where we'll end it off today. Next week we'll come in and we'll do a couple more. Let me get over here. thank everyone who stopped by today who came in and said hello to me and anyone who's watching this later on i had fun being back uh tomorrow we will be back and uh we will be playing some cozy grove slash um dome keeper depending on what kind of time frame we're looking at so it'll be fun just to hang out and play games with you guys uh, so thank you. Uh, thank you, Cryptic. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, have fun, space friends.